Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, your mind, your will and your emotions, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles unbelievers, that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works which they observe, glorify God on the day of visitation. Therefore submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to the king as supreme, or to governors, as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men is free but not using liberty as a cloak from vice, but as bondservants of God. Honor all people. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the King. 1 Peter 2 semi colon 11 17. Good morning Father God, Lord Jesus Christ and His Most Holy Spirit. Hallowed are your names and your character is holy and all-powerful, all-knowing. Thank you for your Bible and for its helps and corrections. Thank you for the guidance that we can find in these pages and the conviction of your Spirit too. Please help me this morning to heed these words of life. In Jesus' name I come to pray and seek your grace for me today. Thank you Lord. Amen. Lord, I see a two-part lesson here in these two sets of verses. I hear Peter tell us that we are just a sojourner here, a pilgrim and that is so we should leave alone the regular worldly temptations and lusts that others live in and fault with. The things that honestly war against us our good and our well-being in every area of our lives. Lord, I know this is the truth. I have walked both sides of the fence of right and wrong, good, and yes, evil. I know the battle scars that my life still carries due to my foolishness in my flesh. It really is true that with obedience comes blessing and with disobedience comes curses. You never want us to reap pain and sorrow yet we do by our own decisions and actions, reap sorrowful consequences. And many times those we love near us are collateral damage too. My greatest heartache is the consequences I have seen in my children due to my own actions and lack of wisdom and spiritual growth. But Peter says look at the big picture, realize that there are others observing our lives. Pay attention to your lifestyle, how you live before the unbelievers that our life is a message, it is a living testimony to others whether they want to accept it for themselves or not. But our lives share you by our simple living as your own. I still remember how I observed Mary when she got born again in your spirit. I watched her, I listened to her, and I saw the complete turnaround of her lifestyle. It was why I came to you for I saw with my own eyes. I witness the new birth that is real in becoming a child of yours. You really do change us from the inside out. And the evidence is very perceptible to others, at least it should be. Why? Because our character, our integrity, our words, our life choices all scream I am different. There is something bigger than the normal everyday life going on in the child of God. Yes. It is seen on our good works we do because we love you and honor you with our lives, our everyday service to you. Then the next set Lord, is where you convict me today. I admit I did not want to go here today. But it is good for me to hear your words of life and heed them. Even when yes, in my flesh I want to do the other. Submit to every ordinance of man, every law. Every law. Yes, Lord that means speed limits. I am a breaker of the law when it comes to speed limits. I am pretty good in town but out on the open roads I am a speeder. Lord, thank you for this warning I need to just give myself extra time and take my time when going places and enjoy and not stress to get where I need to go. It has become a habit that I need to break and Lord, will you help me remember this and walk in obedience to it. I will need your grace and blessing to slow down now that I have gotten used to going fast. But I know you love me and that you care for my good. I do need to not use my freedom on the road to break the laws written for our safety and the safety of others. Last of all Peter tells us, use honor, 
love and fear to grow in your grace and in our walks with you and others. Honor all men, honor you with our lives and love, and love others too, as we would want to be loved, especially our family of God. But reverentially fear you, remembering that you are holy God and that you are God. You see all and you know all and that nothing is hidden from you, not one thought or own action or attitude. You cannot be fooled by anything. Anything. You are all-knowing. Lord, I close this time with you this morning. Thank you for you, for loving me and calling my name. Thank you for refining fire. Thank you for grace when we are going through it. Thank you for your tender mercies which really are new towards us every day. Thank you Father, for your holy words to us. I love them and I cherish their help and great wisdom. Lord Jesus, in your mighty name, I have come to hear you and to respond to your words of life to me today. Thank you. Amen.